Hey everybody, back with a quick mail day. I only got a couple things here. Um, yeah, really not much. Again, a big mess because I'm still sorting through stuff. I just sent in 11 cards to Dustin uh, Bellinger for the first time to get graded and get back, you know, in seven or eight months and stuff that I thought wouldn't at least hopefully drop too much in value over the time. Some of the stuff I just wanted to get slab for certain reasons. Got a couple of broad, uh, lower end rookies, uh, Griffey that I had rookie just to have it slabbed and see what it grades. And a couple, I thought that have good chances at tens, hopefully nines either way. So that should be fun. So I only got two things. A guy on Twitter, he bought those fanatics Phoenix box and which was a no brainer. If you could actually get it off, uh, fanatics. I mean, maybe you still can just like piece it out and sell it because it was like $99.99 and you could sell the top three rookies, you know, to a Herbert and Burrow for about $70 and then you just piece out. So a bunch of people off Twitter were selling the basically the team sets or whatever for certain prices and I uh, watched the breaks on Twitter. He had the Titans for $10 shipped, so I went ahead and snagged them anyway, Cole McDonald. Uh, Darienton Evans, Fulton, and then the Tannehill, Brown, and Derrick Henry. These are sharp cards. But yeah, $10 shipped. It was less than a dollar a card, really, including the sh shipping. So I went ahead and bought those. And then I got into a break with uh, Snodzilla. I guess I didn't get into the break. I bought, it's kind of a funny story. Um... I know he had like a three box baseball mixer, kind of higher end. I think one was Chronicles and then National Treasures and maybe Immaculate, I think. And uh, didn't get a team when he had the pick your team prizes. And then he was trying to kind of live fill the minis. He had two different minis. And out of 10 spots, you had six. You could get the top six spots. And one of the minis got a team. And then he had one with five teams. The top five got teams also. And I bought two spots for 20 bucks a piece in the six team one. And ironically, I got no teams. So I had two of the bottom four spots. So before that, I was like, hey, I'll just give me a spot in the uh, five team one too. So I got, spent another 20 and got that. So I had one spot out of 10 in the top team, and that one was the Yankees. And I was offered to uh, sell the Yankees. And, I was, and I'm a big believer in kind of like, you know, some guys, you know, will trade people their teams no matter what. I kind of like to let see, let things roll, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. So he's opening the boxes. So I got two cards with the top spot in a mini for the Yankees. And I'll show you the one. Here's Stanton, this green from Certified from Chronicles. I didn't even pay attention to any of these. I, I didn't care about the Chronicles cards, really. And then I think he, get, he gets through the Immaculate box. Still no Yankees. I'm like, oh, man. Like, now I got $60 into these. I didn't even get a team with the other spots. And now I get one of the big teams, you know, for a good price and nothing, you know. So the next thing, you know, I think it was like the second, third to last card because there was like a 32 patch booklet or something like that. I don't know how freaking. So this is game worn used material guaranteed by Panini. It even has like the Babe Ruth license. I don't even know how accurate this camera is right now. It looks fuzzy on here. But either way. Um, and out of 25, it's this game used relic. And I thought it was cool anyway, you know. And I've never really... I hit a 101 Joe DiMaggio quad relic at, I think, Immaculate with Eloy. So it's ironic that the Yankees kind of follow me. But go look up prices for Babe Ruth <laughs> game used relics. Especially on National Treasures. I think there's a booklet right now going for like, I don't know, $400 out of 25. The 101 of this card is going for 700 right now with like a day to go. 
and it looks like this can sell from 250 to 400 i mean just but it's game used you know game used the Babe ruth so it I've never been probably more happy of a two card result in a break, but yeah, that was pretty cool. So, um, that's all I got. Just wanted to share the story about the little minis and stuff, but, and being a Red Sox fan, is just kind of ironic, but that's all I got. It is Sunday. It is time for football almost. Hopefully my Titans can get out of this rut and beat the Ravens after a really strong start. We've dropped three games in the last four and it's not good so hopefully we can beat the ravens get back on track but yeah that's all i got thanks for watching until next time see you later